Okay, everyone. So we have a segment in your workbook. There is a page, a couple pages for test paneling. And so those of you who are C's that are a little bit out of shape because time schedules change and the workbook pages aren't in exact order, just to give you a perspective, I made this book the beginning of December before this program was written before I knew who was training. And so the graphic designer had to have it by the 6th of December. So I am grateful it makes any sense whatsoever. It is by the <laughs> grace of God that 85% of it is on track and in order and what isn't, I know you're big girls and you can flip through the pages and find it. And if there isn't a note page, you're gonna find another piece of paper. And so, okay, this is on test paneling. And so this conversation and something that I have found very refreshing during this whole pandemic is that at first I thought we were going to have to totally reinvent what we do and how we do it, which was overwhelming because I had 34, 33 years in. And so I was like, what are we going to do? Because my only idea of virtual business was social media other direct selling ways of throwing spaghetti on the wall and selling to friends. And once you're done with that, you have no other contacts. And so to think that that was going to be our business was a little bit unsettling. But then in quiet time, in time in the word, um, just think like, God, from your perspective, what does this look like? And he reminded me more has stayed the same than changed. More has stayed the same than changed. And over the last um, 24 months, I guarantee you that that has been true because my boot camp training that I did over a decade ago is as relevant in the virtual world as it was in the in-person world. The training, the things that I shared with you this morning, God clarified and made them real clear why he had shared those things with me but they haven't changed at all. We still book, coach, sell, and recruit. The skincare class is still the vehicle. The sustainability factor in your business as a consultant is how many skincare customers you have. Your sustainability as a director is how many unit members you have. And your sustainability as a national area is how many directors you have. That has not changed at all. And so what we're doing now is we're in the process of figuring out how to do the things that are important um, to sustain your business and to help you make money. Because Mary Kay was very intentional about that. She wanted you making money. This is fun, yes. Some people do it as a hobby, yes. It is a tribe, it is encouragement, their spiritual growth, but bottom line, she started this so you can pay bills. So you can be financially independent. So you're not a woman who, does, who has to, feels like she has to make poor decisions or dangerous decisions for herself and her family because of lack of finances. And that's happening more and more all over our country, unfortunately. And again, we have an opportunity to serve. We have an answer. So something we all, I always did was test paneling. I always, when I went on vacation, if I had products on my shelf, those products aren't doing Trisha any good or her bank account any good sitting on her shelf while she's on vacation. But if she gets those off her shelf and gives them to customers to try, I would have them try it. I don't give them to strangers. I knew that I could track those things down if I needed to, but 80% of the people bought it. That was test paneling. We did facials in a bag. Always, if people couldn't have a facial, you could have little samples and we had facials in a bag written up. So now you're going to get to hear the modernized version of it. What we've come to, because it was, we started to learn how to share product, I was seeing that we're selling a lot of product. But if we're not selling skincare, we're not sustainable. Because skincare customers stick with you. Skincare customers give you a reorder business. You guys, on your lunch break, if you haven't taken a look at page nine, team profit from teams, that are, are profit from teams doing team 100, team 50 and team 30 monthly, the income that you can expect. And you guys, that doesn't include any team building checks at all. That's purely on the sales of the product and reorders. It's significant income. You guys, team 100 
produces more than most college graduates are making after four years and $100,000 of student loan debt. And no one's going to make you get a shot or not make you get a shot. No one's going to tell you where you have to work in the country or how you have to work around this season of life. You guys take a look at that. Again, Mary Kay's business opportunity is more relevant and on time than it ever has been. So this group is going to share with you how to increase skincare sales. And so this conversation started when I did a retreat in May that the directors had to qualify for. They had to do Team 100 in a three-month time period. They had to get 33 new skincare customers. And so in the process of that, it's always fun. When someone takes a finish line seriously, lessons are learned. And so Lisa Arrington was one of the directors at my home in May, and she figured out how to um, use the test paneling um, that would work for her to increase her skincare sales. And this whole conversation started. You guys, there's always one woman who starts a conversation. Sometimes it's going to be someone else that you take advantage of being part of that process of her starting it. Sometimes you're the one that starts it. We need you as you have ideas and you're using them to share. Because Mary Kay said, if you have an idea and I have an idea, we have two ideas. We are very different than other companies that only gets trained by their uplines or only gets trained, you know, by the one person that recruited them or doesn't get shared any information at all, which is very common. I have lots of people in other companies that come to me to train them. I'm like, I'm, Mary Kay pays me to train Mary Kay people. So at this stage of the game, no, for the next six years, these blinders are on. Mary Kay was real clear. You cannot chase two rabbits and catch either one. So Lisa, thank you for starting this conversation. Share with us what that looked like. Anything else you want to share? Lisa is then going to pass the baton because then Trisha's like, oh, I love when you're like, you can see people's minds. And right now I wish you were all sitting in front of me because I like to see when the light bulbs go off and see when you start to get to the edge of your seat and go, oh, those are one of, that's one of the answers I need. That's something I'm looking for. That's going to help me because all of you don't need to change everything. Just a couple things to get you to your next best step. And then a couple more things to get you to your next best step. And so then Trisha is going to pass the baton on to Christina. And then we're going to leave time for me to be able to ask questions and wrap it all up with a bow. So Lisa, lead us off. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. And um, thank you, Don, so much for allowing me to be a part of this little test panel panel, because um, it really did um, spark just so many things. And um, so to begin with, like Don said, test paneling has been around for a long time. It's not a new idea. And um, I just also wanted to connect it back to when Don was talking about the spiritual journaling, because I started that, gosh, um, it'll be two years in February that I've been journaling daily. And it is very fun because not only in that journaling time are you spending time with the Lord and getting to know his purposes, his ways, and his character, but he also reveals things to you too that might be on your mind about your business. And so back when Dawn said we had to qualify to come to May, I, I panicked a little bit because I'm like, oh my gosh, Team 100, I don't know if I've done that level of activity in that short of amount of time in a long time. And so um, I started it because again, going back to my quiet time and in my spiritual journaling, God really solidified my why for me. And that was my mom and dad, because my um, all of my family is in Michigan and I'm currently located in Georgia and have been for over 20 years now. And during the pandemic, wasn't able to get back and see family very often. So that really grabbed a hold of my heart and said, Hey, you make it to Dawn's, you get to also spend some extra time with your family. So that's the fire that was lit. So that's what got me really initially, initially started. And it was coming down to the wire. It was, we had to have everything done by April. And I was, I was fine are behind on my skincare sales and my faces were coming along well. And actually my recruits, which was pleasantly surprisingly for me, because that's the one area that I can tend to struggle in. Um, but so um, again, in my quiet time, the test paneling came to mind and I was like, Hmm. Okay. So what does that look like? And so I decided that I would use the, the um, 
to go sets. And I just simply, you guys put them in a bag with a product sheet and what I needed. And I started calling people that were not currently on my skincare because there's many ladies kind of in our, in our customer bases that maybe are just a lipstick customer or a mascara customer, that kind of thing. And so I went through there and that's where I started. And I started asking them, Hey, I need to do a hundred faces. But at the time I was able to deduct what I had already done, but still it was quite a few to finish by April. And then I just went to my customers and they started saying yes, which was really fun. But when it got really fun is when I would deliver to them and then I would call and do follow up with them. And then they would ask me, how many more do you need? And I was like, Ooh, really? And that was exciting because then they'd say, you know what? I'll send you some names and numbers. So what for me, it really built my business, not only getting more of my ladies to try our skincare and then to lead them to purchase the skincare, but they were sharing their family and friends with me. So that's when it really got a ton of fun. And I met so many new people. And then again, was able to complete my team 100 through adding the test paneling into my in-person, because in Georgia, we were able to meet in person if people were comfortable doing it, as well as working virtually. So I kind of put all three of those pieces together, but the test paneling is what really solidified and allowed me to finish my team 100. So that's kind of where that all initiated from. But also you guys just when you work through and press through a finish line to get to an event, that alone is is all worth it. So yes, having those extra days with my mom and dad majorly important to me. However, being at Dawn's then in May, what that did for me, gosh, I've had my business for 16 years and I've been a director. I just celebrated my 13th anniversary on January 1st. And I've been to a lot of events and I've been around a lot of our Mary Kay national area directors. But doing these events have really established the camaraderie, I think, for our leadership team, as well as our up and coming leaders, because DIQs can be there too at different events that Dawn puts together. So for me, just making it to the event through um, the test paneling, just Oh gosh, I don't even know how to explain it. Like just deepening my relationship with the ladies in my national area, spending more time with Dawn, just being on a whole different level, really, oh my gosh, it takes your business to the next level. And two, just, you know, then there's, you, you don't realize how much they are supporting you and cheering you on. And then you wanting to do the same for them. And again, that's what it's going to take for us to get into that inner, inner circle national area is to build that camaraderie and to, you know, take the challenges that Dawn gives us, like she said, and figure out what is it going to take for us to get there? Because the benefits are just one after the other. So I just, yeah, I wanted to share about how I got started, just the benefits, time with one another. Okay, so benefits during my business. Like I said, it allowed me to finish my team 100, but you guys, it's the activity. So activity is so much fun. When you're in your business and you've got activity going, uh, you know what, nothing else. The no's don't bother you because you've got the next one to go to, or you've got something else on your books. That's why when um, Dawn always talks about, you know, booking eight to hold five, it's because if the first one bombs or the second one bombs, you still have others going on that you are excited about and continue to work towards. So that activity, because there are two things, and this is from our Lynn person, there are two things you can control, and that is your activity and your attitude. So activity was huge for me. My new faces, my new customers, um, the referrals that I shared with you were really huge for me and recruits. So during that time period, I had three ladies join my team that I would have never met if it wasn't for test paneling because these ladies were referrals. They were referrals. I never even had met them before until I asked them to test panel the skincare for me. So I have three new amazing women that are on my team that are a result of that first go around of test paneling for my team 100. 
And then currently, I love it because it's an option that we can offer. In addition to, like I mentioned, doing in-person, doing virtual, it's just another option. So when someone says, no, I don't want to get together. Okay, well, would you get together virtually? No. Okay, well, then would you test panel the skincare for me? And normally when they can do it at their convenience in the comfort of their own home, you get a lot of yeses when it comes to doing the test paneling. Um, and I think that kind of wraps up that part for me. Okay. So, so Trisha, take gonna... it away. <laughs> exactly. Pass the okay. baton. All right. Well, thank you again, um, Dawn, as well for letting me be part of this test paneling panel. Um, and I want to really bring you all back to last year at Get Your Year in Gear, because that is really where this all really um, set in my mind and set um, the plans in place for this past year for me. So coming to get your year in gear last year really opened up my, my mind to the possibilities, but it's action. Okay. And I wanted to meet Dawn, uh, very much in person because I have been a consultant. It'll be 15 years this March uh, that I've been a consultant, but I was what we call personal use for 13 and a half of those years. I did um, come on board and start doing the business in August of 2020, but I really didn't do the business. <laughs> I was still dragging my feet and God really supplied um, the avenue for me. I was working as a um, loan officer at a credit union. And I didn't really have a whole lot of time to go and do parties. And I'm not from, I live in North Carolina. I'm not from here. So I don't really have, a, I don't have um, influence in this area. And so in person has been very much a struggle for me. And so, and even timing. So God provided the virtual world for me. And yes, I did a 10 party week, the week before the week of Christmas, which was crazy when I didn't know what I was doing. Um, and then I'll be honest with you. It's really taking a look at this and it's figuring out how do we do the Mary Kay Ash way of doing this and building relationships when it comes to the virtual world, because I'm very much a relation person. And that is something that's very important to me. And I also want to carry on Mary Kay Ash's legacy. And so how do I, how do I do that? So I really, um, after get your year in gear, I put the pedal to the metal to be able to meet Dawn in person in February for her retreat, but I had to be a DIQ, at least starting a DIQ to, to do that. And so I really put the pedal to the metal from about this time of year or this time of the month until January 31st. And I got my 10 people to qualify um, for the retreat and to start my DIQ process. And I'll be honest, I just was in the business of, okay, I wanna get my DIQ process done. And so March 31st, I was able to complete that and become a director. But what happened during that time is, I was recruiting all of my customers um, and it started with Facebook parties. For me, it started with Facebook parties. You can do this in person, but it's numbers, y'all. It is numbers. So I will testify that the underlining foundation of this was parties. It was people. It was the numbers. It was working the numbers. Booking eight to hold five in Facebook world and virtual world that is holding those eight parties, but three of them are duds, <laughs> I'll be honest. So, you know, you just got to kind of work through it and you just got to do the numbers. And um, that led into the summertime. So I qualified to be a director. And then Lisa was talking about how she got to Dawn's in May. And I was like, okay. And it wasn't like the light bulb didn't really come on. I'm like, well, that's great. That's awesome. I'm glad that she was working the team 100. And it's very important for that. But I got to a dry spell really from, I don't want to say June, but kind of June, July, August, I was really hitting a difficult time of getting parties booked. And, you know, people were just not, into that. So we went to the retreat in August at Dawn's Lake House. Y'all, we keep telling you, come to these retreats, do what you can to come to these events, because you are rubbing shoulders with other people who are top in Dawn's national area, and they have ideas that you don't have. You, be, you come up against a brick wall, 
and they got ideas that are strategic ideas. So Don was talking about strategic ideas. And this was a strategic idea sitting around the table. I don't know. We were probably eating breakfast or something. And I was talking with Lisa and I was just like, oh, I'm just, you know, it's just been a struggle from July into August here. I just don't know what to do. And she just mentioned test paneling. I'm like, okay, so tell me a little bit about that. What what are you doing? Like, what are you sending out? And she mentioned that she was sending out the to-go kits And I said, okay, what else are you doing? And she said, I'm only printing out the fact sheet, which all of us have access to in Mary Kay and touch. So she prints out the fact sheet because it gives all the information on that product. I go through and then I highlight the, the morning routine and the evening routine. She said, that's all I'm doing. I'm just sending that. And then, um, I put in this, like, what did you think basically about the product. I know Christina actually was awesome and came up with the um, beauty in a box question. So you can do both. But really when she said that light bulb went on and I was like, God said, this is what I want you to do. I needed to create a customer base. I had run through my customer base and I basically recruited everyone So I didn't have the reorders coming through because they were already consultants. And so I needed to start somewhere. And really it's taking the skincare class of when we were sitting around a table, taking that skincare class and bringing it to the person, especially if it's virtually. Um, You know, one thing that I love what Dawn said earlier, and I do want to repeat this. She said, virtual does not equal social media. Okay. Two totally different things. I have built my entire, my entire unit in this past year, 95% virtual. And I hate computers. (laughs) I was not a computer person. This was like totally foreign and anxiety. You know, you get that little pit in your stomach, like, Oh, I got to do this. But I know that God is using this because it's not my strength. And this has not been done through me. It's all been through him and what he is working through me to help others. And, um, the relationships that you, you end up with, that's really where it's at. So, excuse me. So I'm going to share with you. So August, I started this. And so August to October, I did results. Raina asked me, she's like, I need your results. I'm like, I'm not in this long enough. I don't have good statistics. And she's like, I don't care. Just get me whatever you got. So I got it together. And I was, I was really shocked at, at the numbers for myself. I was like, wow, okay, there, there's something to this. There is something to this. And so I look at the long-term, y'all. I needed to create a customer base. I look at the long-term. Yes, you have to upfront your own cost in the front end, but in the long-term, what is that going to do for you? So I, then again, Dawn wanted me then to get the numbers from basically August through December. And I really tried to plug out through December, um, putting more out just because we knew we were going to be training on this. And I wanted more for statistics, if anything. So I, in, from August till December, I gave away 177 to-go kits. I sent out 177 to-go kits. I followed up with, because you know, some people ghost you, some people don't follow through. I followed up with 126 of them. I sold 55 sets of the full size sets. Um, I had a 44% success rate. Okay. You got to remember, I don't know what I'm doing yet. This is just, you know, this is just scratching the surface. I ended up, this is the part that shocked me the most. I ended up with 17 recruits, 17 recruits y'all. I got into my Equinox. I got into my Equinox December 31st. Shocking of all shocks. That was totally God. Um, I invested $2,212.50. I sold $6,050. My profit was $3,025. And you have to subtract my expenses was $812. So really what I ended up doing was in my conversation, in my follow-up, that was the key. The follow-up is the key. I start the conversation with someone and I'm like, so how are you doing? 
oh, I'm good. You know, everybody says that. I'm good. I'm like, so what are you doing today? I get the conversation to what's going on today. What's going on in your life? And I just try to draw out of them, like Don said, of the third thing that is the legacy that that Mary Kay Ash wanted us to hand down. There is a seed of greatness in everyone. I don't care who you are. And it's just helping people talk. People love talking about themselves. We all do. I don't care how quiet you are. We love to talk about ourselves. We love to talk about our family. And so I start that conversation and I'm like, so what's going on today? You know, and then in the conversation, like I just had one actually on Monday and the woman started talking about her grandchildren. She just mentioned them. And I said, oh, you have grandchildren? Yeah, yeah. Oh, how many do you have and how old are they? And she started talking about her grandkids because what grandparent doesn't want to talk about their grandkids? Y'all, I don't have children of my own. Obviously, then I don't have grandchildren, but that does not mean I can't connect with that woman and let her talk about that. Then about 10, 15 minutes into that conversation, I'm like, oh, so what did you think of the test panel? And I go through all the questions, you know, asking them, okay, good, bad, ugly. I don't care. What was your opinion of the product? I let them talk about it. This woman on Monday, literally, she was like telling me, oh, I'm going to be placing an order. Like before I even asked, she was telling me what she was doing. So it's helping to draw people out of their shell, but that is where the relationship building comes into play. You have to build relationships with people. I can't build relationships with people if I'm just posting stuff out on media, social media. Just, I'm sorry, there's no connection there. You've got to make it personal. You have got to take it personally to make it personal, to build those relationships. Now, did I build relationships with 126 women? No, because not everybody is an open book. (laughs) Not everybody wanted to do that, but a majority of women were very receptive. I also asked them for, if they were interested in booking a party, hey, you know, you wanna wanna get some free product? You wanna host a party? We could do that. Um, If you're not interested in that, that's fine. Do you know of anybody who would be interested in participating just like you did? And I've gotten referrals from that to help encourage me on. Um, It has increased my customer base because within four to six months, they should be reordering. And something I'm going to just drop in here that Honey, one of my um, consultants last night, literally just gave me another light bulb idea. She said, you know what? You could do another test paneling to follow up this test paneling and do it on masking. And I'm like, perfect. Two months after they do that initial test paneling, I'm gonna follow up because you know what can happen? They could put it in their shelf or they can put it underneath their sink and they're not using what they bought. This is a reminder, hey, bring that back out, start using it again. And you're hopefully getting them on other products. So that's something that I am actually going to put into play because I love the connection. It's continually being a chief reminding officer, like Don says, be a chief reminding officer. And like I said, the bookings, you know, that's, that's just what it comes from. And then the residual income, that's where it comes from. And then you can encourage others. It's not that hard to do this. It's mm-hmm. not that hard. You have got to be willing to do more than five. Okay. <laughs> You send out five, I guarantee you, you're probably not even going to have one person maybe even do the follow-up phone call. I'll be honest with you. When I look at 177 that I sent out and I see 126 that I followed up with, that really caught my attention, my attention of what I did. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm shortening that gap. Mm -mm, No, they are following up. I don't care if they buy or not. They're following up with me. I need to have these conversations. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And Christina, bring us home. Wrap this all up with a bow because you are known for making it look visually beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you for inviting me to be on this test panel. So I didn't get into the game of doing this test panel like this until two months ago. So I heard about it through, I think the directors were talking about it on the director boxer group. It came up. So all I saw was like a script and just them chatting about it. So I wanted to know a little bit more about it. So I'm a visual person. So knowing about it and just hearing about it was one thing, but I needed to create something that would work for me to send out to these people that were going to test panel 
to do the application and do the follow-up. And my whole reason for doing this is because of team, I'm doing, I'm working towards team 50 each month. Um, the reason I'm doing that is we are going to the beach house in Destin and Dawn said we can go for free if we do a team each month. So that was my motivation to go to Florida for free. So um, I am one of the newest directors and I got to go to the lake house retreat back in the summer. And I was not a director at the time and I wasn't in DIQ. I didn't qualify for DIQ to go to that. The reason I got to go to that is Dawn extended an offer to me. That was if I finished car and did team 100, then she, I was invited on her to go to the lake house. And that's what I did. I wanted, I, I like challenges. So, you know, I wanted to get to that lake house. I wanted to be around the, you know, all the directors, even though at that time I wasn't looking at becoming a director, I wanted to be a team car manager. So that's what my goal is. And team 100 is what, that's how I earned my car as a consultant, team 100. So definitely you need to be working on those teams if you have big goals. So to get back to the beach house, I want to go for free. So that was my motivation is I needed something because I'm 100% virtual here in Michigan. I'm in San Diego right now though. So I got a background, but I'm in San Diego on vacation, but I live in Michigan and I'm 100% virtual in Michigan. So I needed something that was going to be a little different. I've done test panels, but I've done full sets and I've done them with people that I knew locally. And I needed to reach out to people that were all over the country. And so sending out the go sets was perfect for that because the samples I could send, but I didn't think it was enough. I think that people needed to be on the product a little bit longer to really get a good idea on how good our products are. So the go sets were perfect. So I developed, um, I called it the beauty um, sesh, the beauty sesh box. And I created a um, picture of each one. So I did just the, the go set for the 3D. And then I did a 3D with um, the charcoal mask and the dermabrasion. abrasion. And then I also did the repair set. I didn't focus on the repair set, but I wanted that to be an option if I needed it. So I created um, an image to put on social media and to share. And then I created an order of application for each one. And then I created a feedback form that I could go through instead of trying to remember what are those questions that I wanna ask somebody to get their feedback. So I created the feedback form. So when I sent out my box, I sent out the order of application. I sent out the fact that Trisha was sending out from in touch. And then um, I sent the go set and then whether or not it has samples. Most of mine do have the samples. Those are the ones that I do most. Um, so I'm getting masks in and microderm already for follow-up. So, um, and I needed that, the visual. So I started this, it was already November, into November before I even started this. And I sent out 35 in um, November and December. Um, I had about one third of them book, parties. Um, one third of them bought. So I had um, 13 skincare sets that were sold out of that. And then I had about a third that didn't get back to me, but that's okay. Um, and I did get three new recruits out of it. So that was well worth me doing that. And I did do finish team 30 each month and I will be finishing at least team 30 this month. So I will go to Destin for free. So that. Um, but yeah, the test panels definitely have made a big difference in my business. And that's just adding to, it's just another layer of something else that I can do. So most of what I've been doing virtually is CBC style, but I love this and people can do it on their own time. So um, yeah, I definitely highly re recommend that you do these, um, the expenses minimal, you know, um, and buy them now because they're going up in price. February 16th, my birthday, they are going up in price. So order them now before they go up. So you'll get more profit in your pocket. So um, Trisha, I believe has visuals. Someone has the visuals to show. I will be able to bring them with me. 
So, you know, it doesn't even have to be a big deal. It's really simple. It's just getting the product in their hands and getting them to try it. That's all you have to do. The directions are on the box. You know, they really don't have to have an order of application, but it is helpful. Um, but we've created everything for you. It's on Dawn's website under everything skincare. It's all there. So we've done all that for you now. You just have to implement it by the, you know, the go sets and do it and get to Florida. Get to Dustin. Come hang out with us. Yeah. You'll have a good time. <laughs> Trisha, did you want to show something? Yeah. Um, and one thing I wanted to add is make sure you do a weekly plan sheet because, and do it for weeks out, because whenever you do, before I even send this out, I actually book the appointment about two weeks out for the follow-up. And then I'm a chief reminding officer. Hey, did you get the product? Did you get a chance to try it? We're scheduled for X time on X date to do this. We still good, you know, kind of a thing. So you can get these um, little envelopes. Now I have it where it's a little bit of a, I forget what you call it, but like the poppy uh -huh. stuff, or whatever yeah. <laughs> filler in there. Um, but I got these on Amazon. You can get them very, very cheap. Uh, Linda, actually, I think, I think it was Linda that got me started on going to Amazon and getting a bunch of these cheap. So I just got a bunch of these and then pirate ship is a big thing for you to do. It's cheaper than going to the post office. And it's pretty sad when the post office told me to get pirate ship <laughs> because they were tired of doing all my packages. You can get a scale. I got a scale at on Amazon as well for like 30, $35, a really nice one. Um, you can get a small one, but I like a bigger one because then I can put boxes on it and I can actually see it. So you get your envelope and then obviously the to-go kits. And then they have the um, combination oily and the normal to dry. I only do minimal combination oily just because more people are normal to dry. And then I put in my business card, obviously. And then I do put in this, or you could actually print out Christina's beauty in a box um, questionnaire. You can do it that way. And then you just go to Mary Kay in touch, go under product central, under products, click on the Mary Kay um, time-wise. I do the, the, to, to the kit, not the to-go kit, but the actual kit. And there's a PDF up in the top corner. And all you do is print that out, okay? And it actually tells people um, the ingredients and everything. And then I always go through and I <laughs> highlight the morning and evening routine so that hopefully it catches their eye. And then I don't have to always walk them through, okay, this is what you do. Just follow the directions, just read this. I actually had somebody tell me, a couple people have told me, they're like, thank you so much for this because it has the ingredients and I'm allergic to some things and it made me feel better knowing I could try these products because those um, things I'm allergic to were not on here on the ingredients list. So I do like the PDF version of that. I just print out a bunch, I have it ready. And then I make these up ahead of time. I just make them up ahead of time. So all I have to do is when I book it um, and I make the appointment that I can go ahead and I can schedule um, that in and then I put it in the mail. Mm -hmm. And then Lisa, I think you wanted to yeah. follow back up. Yes. So um, again, just um, what I love is that Trisha has shown you an idea of you know those that are being sent out. And I wanted to share with you because like, Again, Trisha said, you know, she has them made ahead of time. So it's super easy to get them out as people need them. Well, what I've done is I've also put them together as well that um, I carry actually in a box in my car. So they are ready to go. So again, just being prepared because you never know when you're going to run into somebody or that conversation is going to come alive where it you know, triggers you to go, oh my gosh, you need a test panel for me. So I had handed these out at my appointments. If it was just like a color or a foundation match or something that something, you know, somebody might be doing something quick and easy, um, but they were not currently using my skincare. So I could invite them to be on the test panel. Um, also, um, gosh, I've just, even when I've had conversations with people in the church parking lot or at Bible study or what have you. So that's another key thing is just 
be prepared, have them with you because you just never know when the opportunity will arise for you to be able to give them out. So again, Trisha's got you know it together to go in the mail. This is just an idea to have with you on hand to be able to physically hand out to people. So it's really fun to see how things have evolved. And I'm so grateful for Trisha and especially Christina with just her um, skills in that area of being able to create things. Because you guys, literally when I first started, this is what mine looked like. It was just my Mary Kay bag. It was the product sheet, like Trisha talked about, and the to-go set. And that was it. And this is all I was handing out. But now that Christina has put just her special touch on the, like the materials, I've been able to put some really cute things together and be able to hand them out. Because it's interesting. Presentation sometimes is everything. People love things that are cute and sassy, right? Mm -hmm. So um, just having these are really fun to be able to um, hand out on the go as well. So I just wanted to share that too. So I'm going to have um, these three answer because there's some questions about the test paneling that's popping up. So those in the chat will get answered. Couple things I wanted to tie together. Um, Trisha was talking about her 10 party week. Something that's not in the packet, but I extended until January 15th is the 10 party week challenge. And so I have, it's over there, but I'm not going to go up and get it. But it is, I've had these really um classy mary Kay aprons made obviously you can cook in them but if you've ever been um at the like macy's counter for lancome or international makeup artists they wear aprons they put their brushes in the pockets and so we have beauty book our beauty um coats which i'm a big fan of and when you do your 10 party week i'm giving you a mary Kay customized um, apron, um, makeup apron, plus $100 that you can use as the hostess promotion for one of your 10 hostesses. And you still have time. You're going to have time at lunch. You have time by the 15th to get a 10 party week done in person and or virtually or a combination, however you want to do it. Um, all the specifications are on the flyer that's on my Facebook fan page. But last year at this time trisha had just finished a 10 party week from christmas to new year so she went from personal use consultant so that's no customers that's no never doing a facebook party never doing an in-person party for 14 years so whether you're new or you're seasoned you you know could be in exactly those same shoes and do a 10 party week with the instruction and all the resources that you're going to be directed to from here by the 15th and that turned into 90 days later we're talking about the difference 90 days make we've had christina whitner talk about the different 90 days make trisha's a difference 90 days makes you're gonna have um sonia talk about the difference 90 days makes you guys 90 days can totally change that's team 100 that lisa's talking about the difference 90 days can make and so in that it catapulted her into a free car and a unit and then again seven eight months later the second car and equinox her third new director program and fabulous 50s because it's amazing in 90 days what a difference can be made in your mary Kay business so hopefully all of you leave here not regretting the choices that have or have not been made in the seminar year or 2021 or for your whole mary Kay life or in your life it doesn't matter mm -hmm. 90 days from now you can rewrite <laughs> the trajectory of the rest of your life mm -hmm. um i loved numbers it you know it matters numbers matter so that coaching formula when you say you've given out five test panels i mean i have people go you know back in the day again there's nothing new under the sun people would say oh you know facial boxes don't work well, how many did you put out? Three, they got thrown away. The nail salon threw it away. This place threw it away. This place, you know, had it behind the counter. So uh, facial boxes don't work. You guys, it's three. It's three. That's not enough. That's not an average. You know, I can't recruit. Uh, how many people have we done interviews with? Three. We haven't even gotten to five. It's one out of five. And it's not always in this nice little package. One out of this five. One out of that five. One out of that five. So the numbers, Mary Kay math does work. So if you're saying things don't work, you want to have a conversation with your director on the Mary Kay math because you very well may be believing a lie. 
Um, and 10 party week, I told you about numbers, Christina support material, my website, Dawn on hyphen Sweeney.com, the everything skincare class section. She has um, shared all that. So all that is available to you. And I love the office in your car. I always had an office in my car. You had a, a, a tray and mirror and a whole setup just in case you ran into someone or there was an extra person at a party you had recruiting packets in your car you had on the go we didn't have on the goes we made them ourselves we had file cards that we glue sticked samples and put our own color cards together you guys for the love of Jesus, it is so easy for you now. The company makes you look professional. We have people like Christina that do stuff that I never could even think of to ask an assistant to make. You guys, the access that you have to information and resources now, I mean, it, I, I think, what could I have done 35 years ago in Douglas, Arizona with all these resources? I can tell you what impact more women through this product and this opportunity, we'd already be an executive senior national sales director area. But you know what? God's a redeemer of time and he can make Amen. stuff up like that. So I am, I, I've learned, I, I'm grateful for my journey, but I'm ready for this next year. So you guys, thank you so, so much for the preparation um, and delivery of this because, you know, skincare customers, if you look at this page, you guys, this page is just income potential. Like this is mine. So this is not something from the company, but I, you know, I put this together um, to show you if you did team 100 every month or team 50 or team 30 income just from the sales of the product with team 100, which is not even a 20 hour a week job. It's 25 faces. And in this virtual world, it's probably a 10 hour a week job. If you're strategically doing that, you'd have $24,000 profit and your reorder profit will be $50,000 a year. Again, that makes you the highest paid people in the United States of America. Because there are lots and lots of people that don't make $51,000 a year. And people are not washing it down the drain and they're not gonna get repaid on that work ever, ever, ever again. If you choose not to do Mary Kay to make money, that's your choice. But please sell this to those women who are out there in the great resignation because they do need money and they do want everything else that Mary Kay offers. But bottom line, we need to let them know that Team 30 in this day and age, it's not even a 20 hour a month job. It's five hours. Team 30. And you're going to make a $7,200 profit in a year? Who has a job that they can work five hours a week and they have $7,200 extra dollars with $9,600 the next year average profit? And you guys, these are minimal. I'm not talking repair sets. You start getting into repair customers and these numbers double. So you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am going to on spotlight these women and then I'm going to bring... Raina up and we're going to run right into our next segment. So give a big round of applause to our test panel directors. <laughs> and let's see. So here, remove spotlight. Let's go here. Oh, I can't see over there. Remove spotlight. If anything's happened in a year, I know how to spotlight in this last year with Mary Kay and you zoom a lot better, that is for sure. Okay, let me see if I can get, here's Raina's. <clears throat> I can hear Raina. My screen is so big. Let me see if I can hear me. add spotlight. Well, there's, are you there? Should I wait? Oh, I got your living room, okay. Should... Okay, I need the <laughs> other one. Let's see. Yeah, because you're both Reina, so Zoom doesn't know if it's your living room or not. Um, what's the one that's not your living room? Is it under Reina also? It just says me. It is, it's just me. You should be able to see my me by myself. Okay, well, see, when I look at the participant stuff, I'm not sure if you've ever spotlighted, but I only see the names, and then I add the spotlight. Oh, uh, uh. So I'm sorry, you I can get okay. them to turn it off in there. You want me to get them to turn it off? 
No, I'll, let me go to the whole screen and find you the gallery and do it by picture versus, um, yeah, I'll do it by picture versus names. Oh, I just yeah. saw you. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's spotlight. Okay, take it All away. Right. Okay, well, I, ladies, you guys have got me fired up to send out these test panels. Um, I'm so excited and thank you so much for sharing all that. I mean, I'm piggybacking off of you guys a little bit, but I'm really talking about parties, uh, booking parties. Why do you have parties? Listen, I've been in constant conversation with Trisha and a lot of the people that she sent test panels to came from her parties. So parties are very important, you guys, because, you know, one thing that Trisha said to me yesterday that I thought was pivotal, honestly, and I don't think you said it today, so I'm going to say it. Her Facebook parties aren't necessarily lucrative to her. Like she hasn't really sold a whole lot and she hasn't, she hasn't gotten out of her Facebook parties what she would like, but she's looking at her parties as a way to gain contacts leads and that and, and then she's reaching out to them about the test paneling and then she's getting their phone numbers so she's taking them off of Facebook and then she's having conversation with them but it all starts with a party now don't tell me if I go out because them being in my living room and me I'm, I'm worried that it might take but am I good okay um Okay, yay. Uh, but it all starts with a party, you guys. Um, parties, booking, the, the booking is the lifeline of your business. It is the lifeline. You know, a lot of times when I have newbies come to me and they're like, oh, I only sold $200 and I got two bookings. <laughs> two bookings. I would much rather you get bookings from your parties than a bunch of sales. Because if you sold $1,000 at your party, yay, great. I mean, you just made 500 bucks. But then that's it. And you didn't get any bookings. Bookings are the lifeline, you guys, okay? But how do you get on the books? Okay, how do you do this? When I was new two years ago, the best way for me to tell you guys what I did, because I came back with a vengeance that I'm going to do this the Mary Kay way, and I'm going to book, coach, sell, and recruit, repeat. And that's what I was focused on. And so what did I do? I went to my contact list on my phone. Okay. I literally, I re vividly remember going through my contact list. And if she had skin, I messaged her. I did not go, oh, I just talked to her the other day and she took her son to school. She doesn't really have time to talk to me. No, I messaged her, okay? And I have provided the scripts. Um, I gave them to your director. So if you don't have the script, your director has all the scripts, okay? Um, but I, and as far as what I say, but I contacted everybody. And when I would get to like, uh, H's, you know, I would stop if I ran out of time and then I would write it down somewhere so that when I go back to my contact list, I just started back at the H's. Um, and I, that's what I did, you guys. And then I went to Facebook to my friends and I started messaging and asking, ladies, it's numbers. It's numbers. My friends aren't better than your friends. They aren't. I just asked more people. That's all. And so it's numbers, you guys. I, my Facebook friends, my contact list, just in conversation with people because I was working, I was a teacher. I had two full time teaching jobs when I started this. I get it, you guys, whenever you tell me that you don't have time, I didn't either. Actually, that's what could have held me back was because I had a full time, I was a middle school teacher. I could not leave until 3.30 in the afternoon. And then I taught adults at night and that started at 5.30. I didn't have time. 
I did a weekly plan sheet when I was new, okay? And if you haven't heard of the weekly plan sheet, you need to go print one out. It's on Mary Kay and Touch. You go underneath business tools and it says weekly plan sheet. I put my life on that weekly plan sheet, literally. What I grocery store shopping, what I did with my daughter, what I, I put everything on there. And I found a few hours and literally I had from 3.30 to 4.45 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's how I started, you guys. And you know what I would do? My fourth period, like 10 minutes before the bell would ring, I would get my really good girls. They would, they would Lysol wipe a bunch of desks and like tables. And then they would set up my party for me with the mirrors and the samples and the little placemats so that when, they, when the bell rang and they were out the door, I had like the English department come in on Tuesday and then I would have the math department come in on Thursday. Yo, 3.30 to 4.45, that's all I had. That is how I start. You figure it out. You figure out by looking at your schedule, where do you have time? And y'all, I'm talking about before the pandemic. Now, oh my word, virtually, you can fit in so many more parties because you can be working another job while you are doing a virtual party. That's so exciting. So, but, but why parties? Okay. Why parties? Nothing happens, you guys, until somebody sells something. That's what Mary Kay always said. Nothing happens. No bills will be paid. No vacations will be planned. No lives will be enriched through the product or this opportunity. If you don't book parties, you're getting yourself in front of multiple people at one time. It's always numbers, you guys. That's why parties, okay? That's why parties. Um, I mean, that's where the people are. That's how you demonstrate the product on yourself or either to them. I mean, that's how you help other people with their skin. I mean, I just had a career chat the other day with a lady for one of my consultants that she was so, you could just tell by the way she was talking to me on the phone, she was so thankful for her consultant. It's all virtual, but she was just going on and on about how she loves to watch her consultant do her little videos, whether it's QVC, or is actually demonstrating on her on herself. She goes, Raina, I have learned so much about how to take care of my skin just watching Donna. And I was like, wow. I mean, that's what it's all about, you guys. Enriching women's lives through the product and then through the opportunity. Um, you know, and, and another thing, you guys, we're not throwing books at people's doors. That's not what we do. We build relationships. We spend time with these women. We teach them how to care for their skin, whether it be virtual or in person. I mean, that's why parties. Um, and just some tips that I have before I go on to the IPA, a couple of things that I have done uh, that really have made a difference with my customers is every time I sell something, my mom, Okay, I don't do this. I wrote out uh, uh, like two or three sentences and every time they sell something because my mom puts all my sales into uh, Mary Kay and Touch for me, she will mail a postcard. It was actually a thank you card, a thank you card to my customers and just thank them for helping my small business, basically. I mean, it's just a, it's just a meaningful message that my mom writes out on a thank you card and she puts a color card you know the sample color card in with it oh my word the texts that I get all the time because number one who gets a handwritten note anymore not a, not a whole lot of people because I number one I'm very bad about it that's why I have mama do it <laughs> <laughs> um, but the color cards, they love that. And I have sold so much more glamour uh, just from that color card. But anyway, that's one thing that I do. Uh, another thing is when I'm actually holding my parties, just a tip, um, like a virtual tip type thing, is I 
have my hostesses do the skin analyzer app. Whether I'm in person or I'm virtual, it doesn't matter. I have my hostesses do that skin analyzer app to where it gives me a prescription just for her. Um, and then I, that's what I demonstrate at her parties. Okay. Um, and she loves that. They love for me to demonstrate their routine. They love it. Okay. But that's just another tip. Um, but I want to bring up before I run out of time, because I think I'm running out of time, aren't I, Dawn? <laughs> Do I have one minute? Um, you need to pull this out. It's called the IPA sheet. Now, this was not with Dawn's uh, packet, but this was something I sent to the directors for you guys to print up too. It's an IPA sheet, okay? For those of you who are getting a little overwhelmed right now and you don't even know where to start, this is where you start, okay? IPA is income producing activities. If you look on the left side, those are all activities that you can start doing right now, okay? Like hold a party online or in person, uh, get two new bookings, uh, five new leads, make 10 booking calls. You can look down that list and just pick. What do you wanna do? And what I love about this sheet, and I'm, I'm hoping that most of you can see it as I'm talking about it, at the top of it, it's got one to 31. Those are all the days of the month. And then what you do is, like today's the 8th, okay? If you go over to the 8th, and if you go down, you can put one point for every IPA you do today. And you guys are going to be doing a lot of IPAs today. And then you just add it up at the end of the day. Do you see there at the bottom? And then if you go to the very bottom, this is really what I want to point out to you. What kind of consultant do you want to be this year? Do you want to be a part-time consultant? Do you want to be a full-time consultant? Do you want to be in leadership and earn cars and become director? Well, it tells you at the bottom of this paper how many IPAs you should be doing weekly in order to be that consultant. So if you look there at the bottom, it says, you know, the IPAs for the first through the seventh. You add up all your IPAs for the first through the seventh and see where you fall, see what you're doing. But you guys, I know how hard it is to get started, okay? It doesn't matter where you are on the career path. You still go through valleys. Sometimes I'm just like, where, where, where do I start? And y'all, starting is the hardest part. Because have you ever noticed, and this is just in life, really, when you start doing something, you're like, oh, okay, then you do something else, and then you do something else, and then before long, you can't stop. You guys, I experience that all the time in my office to where I get in here on some days, and I'm like, okay, I don't really feel like doing anything today, but let's go. Let's just do something. And then, like, two hours later, I'm like, oh, gosh, I'm running out of time. Have you ever done it? It's just getting started. So those of you, okay, you don't even know where to start. Take this IPA sheet and just start somewhere. Pick an IPA and just start. Okay, done. <laughs> you're, you're muted, Dawn, you're muted. Dawn, you're muted. Okay, you guys, thank Raina. If you have any other questions, the income producing activity sheet and the scripts are on my Facebook fan page right now. You know, if you're, you know, you don't need to get a hold of your director, you can go right to my Facebook fan page and you have all of that. I also wanted this on the recording. So after the recordings are on YouTube, then um, the things that are on my Facebook fan page will go onto my website under events under Get Your Year in Gear 2022. So this is training that we can use between now and our next area event will be in July as far as a training like this. Um, so I'm going to unspotlight Raina um, and bring on our next two, which is our final panel prior to our working lunch break. Um, and what you guys, I mean, you're seeing a probably, um, you know, a thread that everyone picks out how they're going to do their Mary Kay business. You know, as long as you're not doing something illegal to your contract with Mary Kay, then we've always, like prior to the pandemic, 
Some people did trunk shows. Some people did a skincare class with all color. Some people just did skincare, no color. Some people had roll-up bags for each guest. Some people did more individual and double facial. Some people built their business through events and through a studio. Everyone was still serving people through this product in this opportunity, but it looked a little bit different, but there was nothing that was against your contract with Mary Kay. It is no different with this virtual piece added on. We now have all those things we always did as options. And now we have all these different things like go kits that we never had before. We have Facebook um, parties. We have Zoom parties. You have, again, the whole myriad. So you guys, I'm, I'm hoping that when you get off of this day, you're like, okay, there's all these different options for me. Your job, like Raina said, is start. And I, I like the perfect start, power start pearls. It's always a great restart and it's a start. So while you're doing your perfect start and you're doing your power start and your pearls, you're gonna get lots of income producing activities. You're gonna have lots of situations. You can evaluate your numbers. You're gonna be able to track your teams. Is it 30 in a month? Is it gonna be 50 or 100? That's one of the things I want you to let your director know. During your lunch break um, or by the end of this day in January, team 30, team 50, or team 100, which is better for you? That's activity. Where are you gonna be on the career path? If you're planning on, on meeting me and me being, you know, your um, hostess with the mostess at the beach in February, because you're going to be a DIQ, we need to know that too. Absolutely. So the last panel is going to be um, featuring Sonia Fowler. So she has done the most faces um, and the most retail sales in our whole national area in the last 90 days. And so let me get our... Um, spotlight set up and let me find Alden who is going to be our interviewer and then let me find Sonia uh, let's see mm -hmm. It's fun going through all these and seeing everyone's face. Why can't I find? Oh my gosh. I'm here. Just follow my voice. I fo follow my voice. <laughs> follow my voice. Come to me. Does It doesn't say home iPhone. Does it say your name? It's a Sonia Fowler. Okay. I will prevail and find it. You guys, this is the attitude you have to have. It's like, okay, this isn't happening as fast as I want it to, but I'm not stopping and I'm not going to get frustrated. There she yeah. is. I yeah, see yeah. her. That's Yay. something I've learned during the pandemic. It's like, I don't even sit there going, I can't do it. I'm so stressed. It doesn't work. It's like, take a chill pill. This is not brain surgery. I've kept kids alive for 29 and 31 years almost. I can figure <laughs> out how to find someone and spotlight them. Yay. Yay, there we are. Okay, you guys, take it away. So what we're going to do with this is they're going to do share, question, answer, lots of great, awesome stuff. And then we are going to, when they get done, I'm going to stop this recording and we're going to have our working lunch break. And so you guys have gotten your marching orders. You have all the resources of what to do during your working lunch break. And you know, if I were you, like I knew once I got done with four o'clock today, it, if I was jumping into my life like I am now, it's like I am gonna use every single minute to do income producing activity so that you know by the time my head hits the pillow, I've done life and I've done my Mary Kay and I've done the activity. So when I wake up, wake up tomorrow, I turn into that worker bee. Um, we will be back in this Zoom room at one o'clock. We will just have a 30 minute segment in this Zoom room from one to 1.30. And then we're gonna go over to Cindy Gruss's Zoom room. And that is on my Facebook fan page too. So Alden and Sonia, take it away. Awesome, okay. So I have loved everything that's been shared already today. Thank you for the sales directors and Dawn. Um, I'm so excited to be the Ellen or Oprah for today as I interview my dear friend, Sonia. Um, and I hope that you guys can get excited. I know many people have typed in the chat, this makes me excited. And I hope you guys 
get excited about this because what I want you guys to know, what we all want you guys to know is the only thing that is different from the women that are teaching and the women that are on the other side learning is that we decided to do something, whether we were overwhelmed, scared, unsure, had no idea what we were doing, we were willing to just do it and listen to the leaders before us because that is what this takes and that is exactly what Sonia has done. And you guys, I'm so excited for her to share. I'm gonna mic drop her numbers because I I was mind blown and so excited um, strategically breaking the numbers down for you guys um, last night. But I want um, Sonia to share because um, her piece is what can happen in 90 days. So Sonia, I want you to rewind back to show us who you were, what your life looked like 90 days ago, and then we'll jump into what you did in these 90 days to get fabulous results that all of us could be celebrating in March. So Sonia, who were you and where were you? What did life look like 90 days ago? Okay, well, first I just wanna say thank you so much to Dawn for allowing me to share what God's doing in my life. So I really wanted to start with um, a biblical verse because I feel like it's completely fitting to everything that we've been talking about leading to our segment here. Proverbs 29, 25, the fear of man bringeth a snare, but who's putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Fear is not of God. Fear is a device of the enemy that is designed to sidetrack you from focusing on God. God fills our hearts with love and peace and fear cannot go anywhere peace and love are present. That is why we are to put our trust in God because his guidance will never give us reason to fear. And where I was, um, I basically can tell you that I attended um, fall retreat with Dawn, September 29th, 30th and 1st of October. And I caught the dream in my heart. I was a sales director for 10 years. Um, I had a husband that was unfaithful. I had to pack my kids up and I needed to, um, do what I thought was responsible at the time, which was lay my Mary Kay down and go back into the classroom. Cause I wanted the health benefits. I wanted the security and I put myself in a box based on what other people were telling me would be the right thing to do was. So when I went to the retreat, well, first of all, I know that many of you probably heard me already speak, um, on November 4th. And I literally had been in the classroom all day long. I was having super bad anxiety at the beginning of the school year, the mask, all the things that were going on. But on December of 2020, um, that on New Year's Eve, the Holy Spirit was like, my sweet girl, I'm taking you from the classroom and I'm putting you back into Mary Kay because there are a lot of women who are looking for something more. So on November 4th, I finished that call. It was fabulous. The next day I went to the doctor and the doctor looked at me and he was like, where Sonia, where is the sunshine joy? You are extremely stressed out. I'm going to need you to take a leave. So I took a family leave on November 5th and I really decided it was time to go to work. So I um, basically, after going to the retreat, I'm like, 100 faces, let's do this. Let's, let's just roll our sleeves up and let's see what happens when we do this. So as I'm going into October 1st, I want to give all the glory and honor to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because honestly, I started experiencing God the day after I texted on and said, I'm supposed to do this Mary Kay thing again. And if it's going to be with anyone, it's going to be with you because you are a powerhouse and you already have forged footsteps and I'm ready to follow right behind you and I'm ready to walk this out. So at that point, I um, decided I was going to do this post my party. And Trisha, Trisha was like, you can do this. Don and, and Alden's like, you can do this. I'm like, okay, I can do this. Trisha was very patient with me. She helped me. And I will tell you that I have something in the works so that we can get some training onto Dawn's site that will help you help yourself start this post my party. So after I'm finished speaking, I know that when you make a decision and you just go with it, as my girl Alden said, it's baptism by fire. You just get in it and you just do what you need to do. So basically I'll let my girl take back over. So um, 
when Sonia was doing this, she was still doing this while she was teaching and teaching kindergartners uh, yeah. partly on Zoom or something just tragic. <laughs> so she had all of that. She has like 12 and a half children, all of the things. Um, so it's not like she's just doing Mary Kay. A lot of times I feel like people think, oh, she does this full time. Of course she can have these results. But she was doing this with a very full life like all of us have. Um, so in 90 days, okay, we're going to just expand our minds. In 90 days, she did 173 faces. That was from 20 parties. The sales were $14,253. So that means in three months, 90 days, she profited for herself and her family, $7,126.50. I want you guys to think, what would you do if you had $7,126.50 extra added to your family budget in the next 90 days? That's $2,300 a month in a broken down into that three month time frame. She established 62 new skincare customers. That's 62 skincare customers. You guys, I broke that down. That's an average of 57 faces a month. Almost like how Dawn just talked about team 50 in a month. That's exactly what she did for three consecutive months. That averages out to $82 a face. Again, what's old is new. It's the same thing back in the day. We tried consultants to sell between $50 to $100 per face. And she's right in the middle there. $82 average a face. If she did this for every 90 days, that's obviously a year long, that would be with no reorders. Pretend nobody reordered, which is not going to happen. That would be $28,500 a year just from doing those new faces with no reorders. You guys, people work full-time jobs and don't take home that money after taxes and all the healthcare and all of the crazy stuff that gets taken out. Full-time jobs are worked for that income. What would you do with $28,000 this year? Next January, you're rolling in 28,000 extra dollars of cash because you're willing to do 50 spaces a month. We're not talking team building. We're not talking reorders. You guys, that changes families for generations. Generations. So that is what Sonia did. And holy smoke, I want to know from Sonia, what made it worth it to you to be uncomfortable to have no idea what you were doing and just say, well, I'm going to figure it out and we're going to see how this goes. What was worth it to you? Because really, you guys, that's what it's about. If you're, if it's worth it enough, you'll be willing to figure it out. So Sonia, share with us what made it worth it to do this. So, you know, being a Mary Kay, I mean, I've been using the product since I was 19 years old. I, I, you know, came into Mary Kay in 2000 and before 2004, before I welcomed my first human being into this world and became a director a month later, there has been a seed that has been planted in my heart so many years ago. And when I listened to others tell me what I needed to do for the security of my family, I put myself in a box and I clipped my wing. but I've kept friends on Facebook and I've watched their journeys and something has always twanged at my heart. In New Year's Eve last year, the song that I had selected when I become a national and I stand on stage because God's already got the victory. I just have to walk it out now. The song Katy Perry came on firework and I was overcome with emotion as I was with my kids playing ping pong and I'm like, I'm, I'm supposed to do this. And I immediately reached out to Dawn and literally she said to me, are you ready to be a national? And I was like, okay, Lord, I guess, you know, 
you know the plan and, and I'm going to do it. So when I went to that retreat with her and I listened and I saw, and I was like, I can do a hundred faces. Like, why can't I? There's nothing different than when I used to go on trips because I didn't have a national. So she talked about the 85% of American culture in Mary Kay. They don't have a beast of a human being like this woman here. I mean, and I knew when I was ready to do this, I was going to come back because blessing her blesses other women and blesses me. As you can see this person in the background, here's the beginning of the national area. It's here and it's coming. So as I went and caught the vision that day, I was like, you know what? I, I totally can do this. So I had my first party and really and truly, um, when I was in Mary Kay, you know, years ago, and then went back into the classroom, like I said, I had that feeling of like, I think I'm supposed to do this. So for a long time, Dawn loved on me because I didn't have a national. I didn't have a senior. And the reason I'm coming back now is to wear this pin on my lapel means the world to me because I'm going to be able to pass this to so many others. And legacy is who you are right now. You know, like when people talk about bringing flowers to a graveside, no, give flowers to people now so they can enjoy them while they're alive. Don't bring them to their grave when they're not going to be there. So when I got back from Pennsylvania, I was like, all right, let's do this. So I literally went October. I held two parties, two. And one of the beautiful humans on this Zoom today is also part of the future national area that is being all the 12 stones that are the, you know, the tribe that are going on the altar. She was in that first party. I didn't know what I was doing, but she booked a party from that party and then we kept the ball a rolling. So going from two parties in October to November, I held seven parties to December, I held eight. And this month, ladies, I have 17 parties on the books. I am doing right now, this week, four parties. And if you look to the back here, cause I'm in the studio up, oh, I've got four live skincare presentations, which I keep at 19 minutes on zoom. So if you're not willing to get unwilling to get on Facebook and do a live party, you don't want money. You literally don't want money. And I can say that to you because I, you just heard the stats. I mean, literally 7,126.50. When I explained to you that I, in the classroom, miserable heart palpitations, like I was like, I I'm going to lose my business here. And the first thing the doctor's like, let's put you on an anti-anxiety med. Mm, no, thank you bites. I don't think I really want to do that. I think I'll, you know, figure this out holistically and, and take a different approach. But from what I'm making in the classroom, I mean, granted, I have health benefits. I'm going to figure all that other stuff out. But literally, I'm making more holding four parties a week. Next week, I have six parties. The next week, I mean, literally, this is what are you willing to do? If you're willing to say you want to be a sales director, I'm going to tell you what leaders do. Leaders lead others to lead themselves. And when you're a leader, let me tell you, as becoming a sales director, I mean, I'm going to say it out. I'm, I'm going into DRQ. I'm going to finish that in a month. I'm going to the beach resort because if it's free, it's for me. Because I'll tell you on my Facebook live parties, anybody that's going to get a deluxe mini, they're going to work to comment and post. Like It is basically, as a leader, I am the MVP and I'm the star of the team. I'm the coach and the star of the team. So you have to do those things. And I'll, I'll tell you guys, personally, right now in my life, I didn't realize this was going to happen. But I'm going through a divorce as well. So when people say, Mary Kay can't pay your bills, yes, it can. And what I'm going to do for the Lord, because as soon as Dawn and I were in contact, she's like, okay, son, you get experiencing God and go through it again. So to answer that question, Alden, what, am, what was that decision for me? It was the Lord. The Lord was like, I'm going to need you to do this. There are a lot of women out there that are probably in your same situation and you can stay in the box with your wing clipped or you can fly 
high soaring with the eagles. So peck like a chicken on the ground or soar high in the, in, in the sky. And I chose to fly high in the sky. So the numbers that you see here, I will. For the first time, I was a sales director for nine years. I've never been on stage. I will go have so many sashes and I already know what my dress looks like. And I, I know that all my people are gonna be there with me. And the three most important people to me are, are my children. And I've had to walk through some really deep things. But when you have God in your heart, you're never alone. And they're gonna see their mother. With God, all things are possible. Awesome. And you guys, I want you to think of, so how Sonia, she knew the amount of money that she needed to make. Um, and she was willing to do this. And those dreams were planted in her heart before she had any idea of what these last few months or weeks were going to unfold in her personal life. But God knew, right? So whatever you feel as if you're being called to do, you feel that, you know, maybe that beach retreat, you're like, I think y'all might be crazy. Like you might be on drugs. I don't know. But you feel like you have to be at that beach retreat. Be obedient to it, you guys, because you have no idea what's coming and you have no idea whose lives are impact on the other side. And some of you, it might be just to pay a bill, like your phone bill, like, you know, whatever it is, because Mary Kay Ash, like Dawn said at the beginning, started this so women paid real life bills with the sales of this product. Because when women have the ability to make income for themselves and their families, they make very different choices. Choices that women are praying out there right now to be able to have. And they have no idea that it comes through a skincare set with Mary Kay. Or somebody's obedience to be willing to be inconvenient or uncomfortable because they have no idea how to run Facebook. And Sonia's affirmation to herself was, I'm learning to be a digital diva. That's, That's right. what she kept saying. I'm like, yes, you are, honey. And I love it. I'm learning to be a digital diva as well. And you can too. And that's the fun about this is that these numbers can be your numbers too. Her story can be your story and you'll have a different impact. But what I want you guys to really take away from Sonia is that she was willing to be obedient even when she had no nothing in her sight to prove that it was, you know, worth it at the time or that she could. It was just that she said, I, I'm listening to God and I'm going to figure this out. And that's what you guys can do and take from this. Um, and everybody can be a digital diva. I, I mean, why not? We can be a digital diva. We can be a test handling diva. We can do all of those things um, because those numbers are real. And like I said, they can impact generations. Because now Sonia has proven to herself and all of the women that get to hear her story that you can make a very sizable income in Mary Kay, even in a 30-day time frame. I mean, she made more in her first 30 days than she was from a full-time teaching job. That's huge, you guys. And there's women that need to know that. And we have the blessing of being able to have more people know about that now than we ever had before. So, Sonia, I want you to share. We've got three minutes to wrap this up with a perfect digital diva bow. I want you to share your, you know, parting words that you want them to know um, so that they have, you know, I'm not going to say confidence because you guys, you don't get confidence without doing. So you're not going to get the confidence hearing this from us. We could talk about this endlessly. And if you don't go and do at least 10 parties or 10 mm -hmm. test panels or 10 in-person things, we don't, I hope you are clear on that. We don't care what you do. As long as you do something, something is good, right? Um, right. So I'll say so that you feel equipped and you're fired up enough to be willing to take those steps forward. What is your last final, final thought, Digital Diva? Well, I'm going to bring it back full circle because that I'm a visual person. I'm an educator by trade and the fear go back to the, go back to the biblical verse. That's, that's, that's the manual here. People is the Bible. If you're not letting the Bible 
be your guiding light, I mean, then you're going to, you're going to have a lot of fear and faith in the same sentence and they don't go side and side hand in hand the fear. So Proverbs 29, 25, the fear of man bringeth a snare, but who so putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. So do I have everything figured out? No. Did I know we're all lights green as I started my Mary Kay, you know, journey here again? No. Um, my highest party was $1,700 online friends online. And each party, I get a little better. I get a little better. Cause what does it mean? Progress makes you perform. It's progress. And the only person you're going to fail here, people is you. So get out of your own way because you're being fearful and know that when God has put something in your heart, when you don't do it, you're disobedient. You don't want to be disobedient. You want to be, you know, when you get up there, you're going to have your crown and you want to hear good and faithful daughter. You know, everything's messy in my life right now, everything. But I'm going to tell you, my parting words are, this is a game, girls. It's called a game. Each month, I want to do better and better and better because my humans are watching. My humans are watching. I have a daughter. I will apprentice this to her. Alden used to babysit my daughter, who is now 13. And I know that God gave me this opportunity. He washed feet and served women or served people. We wash faces because on the outside, I look like I'm all put together. But on the inside, I need the Lord daily to fill my cup so that I can fill the cup of all the other people. Pass this on. If you don't start doing the post my party, you're Bobos. And I don't mean that ugly. I mean that really sincerely because I can do six parties in a week. The average party, my lowest party was like $190. Um, it's better than a sharp stick in the eye, friends. Seriously, do it, jump in and do it because I'm going to tell you what, come seminar girls, I can't wait to hug all of you in person. I can't wait to be sashed out in the back of, of the stage to come out and fly freely. Fly, just fly. Be bold enough to try something, even though you're uncomfortable. I'm real uncomfortable, but Mary Kay is my passion. And it has found my salvation and my children's salvation. So thank you so much for letting me share because I get dressed the same way as you. I have nothing more than you. All I knew was God said, do it. And I did. Mm -hmm.